Hi friends, I thought today I could read you a story. The story is called Easter Bunny's Amazing Day. We know the word day, right? D-A-Y. And do you remember the three letters I-N-G make the sound ing, right? Amazing. Hi, I'm the Easter Bunny but I wasn't always the Easter Bunny. Can I tell you my story? I think so. What do you guys say? Can you tell us? I'd like to hear it. Long ago, when I was just a little bunny, I lived with my mama, my papa, and my brothers and sisters. Lots of brothers and sisters. We lived in a really beautiful garden and we had plenty of yummy grass to eat. I had a young animal friends to play with too. My best friend was a mouse. He was really good at hide and go seek. I was just really good at hiding. Look, bunny's hiding behind a rock, mouse is looking. You see, I had a problem. I was afraid of nearly everything, nearly all the time. I was afraid of the dark. I was afraid of thunder. I was afraid of lightning. I was afraid of shadows. I was afraid of crowds. A crowd is when there's lots of people together. Is anybody in TK afraid of the dark? Is anybody in TK afraid of thunder? Is anybody in TK afraid of lightning or shadows or too many people all at once? And especially horses. Uh-oh. Why do you think little bunny is afraid of horses? It looks like if the horses are running, little bunny, or even walking, little bunny might get squished. One time I had to dart out from under a horse's pounding hoof when a group of riders came galloping through the garden. I was so scared I shivered <gasps> and I could hardly eat for a week. Do you see the shivering? The movement lines around the bunny? Ooh, I'm scared. The only thing scarier than horses was the dark and gloomy cave at the corner of the garden. I could never, ever go in that cave. Do you think you would be afraid of the cave? One time, everything that I was afraid of happened on the same day. So let's try to remember what was he afraid of? Thunder, lightning, crowds, shadows, the dark, the cave, horses. It started with riders on horses yelling at a crowd of people going past the garden. So look, looks like there's a soldier and a horse, more soldiers and horses. There's people, this person has his hand up in the air, his fist. Looks like there's a cross there and somebody's carrying it and holding it. Who do you think that is? Do you think it's Jesus? Look, there's the two crosses on the hill. And when Jesus died, there were three. Later on, it grew dark. It got dark in the middle of the day. The story goes that when Jesus died on the cross, at the moment that he died, darkness came all over the whole land, even in the daytime. There was a tremendous storm and thunder and lightning and even the ground shook underneath me. So when Jesus died, it got dark. There was an earthquake. That's why the ground shook. There was thunder and lightning. I didn't know where to go. I had to hide somewhere, so I ran. I ran right into the cave. I cowered in the corner for a long, long time. To cower means to like make your body very small. Later, the storm ended and a group of people came into the cave holding torches. They brought a man wrapped in white cloth and laid him on a flat piece of rock. So who do you think this is? Is it Jesus, you think? Is this Joseph of Arimathea? Is this Mary? Is this the tomb where Jesus was buried? I think so. Then 
all the people left. They all went out. Before I could move, they rolled a big stone in front of the entrance to the cave, and I was stuck inside in the dark. Remember, the dark is something else that little bunny is afraid of. Oh, look at his eyes. Can you make your eyes big like that? Think about if you're somewhere in the dark and you're scared. I was in there for three days with the man that was wrapped in the white cloth, but there was something about this man. At least I wasn't alone. Look at when people died, when Jesus was alive and they died, they wrapped their um, body in cloth. And so he's using one of the pieces of the cloth to keep him warm. Then the most amazing thing happened. The cave filled with a light so bright I could barely even see. Do you think the light from Jesus was so bright? Think about if somebody put a flashlight right into your eyes. I bet that's how bright Jesus' light was. I feel like it would be even brighter than a flashlight. The man got up. There was light coming from him. He glowed. Do you see the word glowed here? How they made it look like the word is glowing? And look at little bunny covering his eyes. Do you think it's Jesus? I'm noticing I see the markings from where the nails were on his hands and on his feet. There was a sound. A sound of air swooshing into the cave. Like the room was taking a deep breath of the freshest air in the whole world. As the air whooshed back out, the stone rolled away and the cave was open again. Light streamed in and out. So the light from the world was coming in, the sunshine, and Jesus' light was going out of the cave. I inched forward a little bit. The man saw me. I wanted to run. He stooped down and held out his hand and he smiled at me. Look, there's his hand. There's the markings from the nails. Do you think Jesus knows that little bunny's scared? Do you think that Jesus knows little bunny's afraid? I think so. When I saw his eyes, I didn't want to run away anymore. With my front paws, I stepped up onto his warm fingers and I sniffed. <laughs> Ooh, his touch made me feel warm inside. Can you imagine if you got to touch Jesus? And little bunny's even more special because little bunny got to touch Jesus after he died, after he came back to life. Wow, that's very special. He scooped me up, held me close to his heart, and he took me outside. He stroked my fur with his gentle hands and said, don't be afraid, little bunny. I am here with you. So he probably was going like this to him. Look at Jesus. Doesn't he look so happy? If you're ever afraid, we know that Jesus is always with us, right? Just because we can't see him or touch him, we can feel Jesus in his heart, in our hearts. And we know he's close to us and he know, we know that he loves us. So if you ever are afraid, you know that Jesus is with you no matter what, even in the dark even during a storm, even at home, even in the bathtub, even when you're sleeping, even when you're eating dinner, even when you're playing outside, always. Hearing his voice, I knew that I would never be afraid again. I would never be afraid of lightning. I would never be afraid of the dark. I would never be afraid of thunder or caves or horses or crowds of people. I bet little bunny feels good about that. Think about all the things that you're afraid of. And think about if all of a sudden you weren't afraid of them anymore. Do you think that would be a good feeling? Do you think you would be proud? I think you would smile. The special day when the man who glowed came out of the cave is called Easter. They call me the Easter Bunny because that was the amazing day that he took all my fears away. The end. It says, thank you, Jesus, for Easter and for everything. Can you say that? 
Let's try it. So we're going to say, thank you, Jesus, for Easter and for everything. Are you ready? One, two, three. Thank you, Jesus, for Easter and for everything. I hope you enjoyed the story.